Yes, sir. Really very nice that all of us has been listening very seriously and sincerely. Is it working? Yes. So finally, we have come to the concluding session. Uh, we were observing, of course, and I'm very happy to share that uh, all of us has been listening sincerely and seriously and involving themselves uh, to find out the solution of the various problems we are facing. So uh, we have a lot of uh, sharing to tell, but uh, time is limited. Uh, now in this session, uh, only few sharing will be uh, taken up. And in that sharing, uh, you can tell what, what is the takeaway from this uh, one day uh, workshop. And then uh, what is the potential uh, in your uh, institute of the university? And what is your commitment? So we'll, uh, of course, within uh, uh, limited time, you tell about your commitment, potential in your institute, and take away from this. Even in the beginning, as I told, as a vice chancellor, uh, I asked my each and every faculty to go through it. Even ap uh, after one workshop, I realized that until unless my myself go to and attend the workshop, I don't have right to tell it. So then I decided myself along with my dean director and went to IIT Kanpur where I had those workshop. And then of course I learned a, learn a bit. Then uh, of course I attended a morning session, uh, June 2020, which is going on till date, from 2020 till date. Attended that for uh, one year continuously then of course uh, learn uh, slightly more. So there is a lot to learn still. still. So uh, now we invite a uh, few panelists to tell their uh, commitment. So now. We have uh, Dr. Lata from MIT, uh, Professor Lata from MIT. A very good evening to one and all gathered here. So during the online session, so I was a bit familiar with the program. So previously, I have just attended the, some two levels. So I, I uh, cultivated a habit of trying to understand myself. And again, as a gen general human, I used to, uh, I like to maintain cordial relationship with all whomever I move. Again, this introductory workshop, again, I really feel that it has tuned me. And I, I have a satisfaction. I maintain relatively better relationship so after attending those programs. So that's my general feeling. So overall, for, for, uh, as a, so now, uh, this, this program is very essential for the budding students. So where to start and how to start like that, lot of uh, things already people have evolved and it is getting introduced into college. I feel it's really must for the growing society. That's my feeling, sir. What's your commitment towards this? Com your yeah, like, uh, <laughs> like uh, after the yeah, induction program, I was uh, conscious in attending the, uh, the gatherings and I was a part of a WhatsApp group. I, I was constantly uh, like, uh, during the lockdown. So I, I was a part of it. So after which I could not uh, really be a part of it, but I love to be a part of it, sir. Okay. Thank you. Dr. Vipinendran. Okay. Dr. Mala, Director CED. A very good evening to one and all present here. Uh, for me also, this program is a second program. Already I had attended a seven days workshop about uh, universal human values. So uh, uh, actually, uh, during that time, I thought that I have to, I mean, the, I have to think about the inner self and all those things. But there was a long gap that was during the corona period, I completed that course. So after yeah, which I tried to uh, practice it, but uh, there was some gap, there was a very long gap. And after attending today's session, so I have decided my mind that I have to practice all these things uh, in my uh, everyday activities. Uh, wherein, uh, uh, I mean, when I deal with uh, all my uh, 
colleagues and all the people around here i have to practice all these universal human values and uh, i i mean two ideas what i thought was one is uh, we can incorporate this universal human values inside each and every course so that can come as part of the course instead of teaching even though we are teaching this as a separate course this can also be made as a part of each and every course like the ethics that is present in the each and every course can be uh, i mean uh, incorporated into this as values in every course that is one idea what i thought the other one is as uh, every researcher has got some h index or uh, i10 index we can also think of having some value index to the uh, i mean uh, the teaching community which talks about how much values that we have incorporated into the students based on that we can uh, measure up that in the form of a metric and uh, make it as a uh, i mean uh, some b index or something like that so that is my idea sir this is what i thought uh, man my take away from this particular thank you thank, thank you. you thank you thank you very paramasivam hod aeronautical good evening to all of you so after attending this course it was a little bit uh, gone inside to my mind so harmonizing harmonizing and uh, the happiness inside and look for happiness for others so this will inculcate me to look uh, create happiness for the environment as well as along the students yesterday also we visited for nss camp in uh, somangalam and all our students uh, they have already have this uh, kind of uh, helping to others and interns and to helping to others i hope this will enhance more uh, inculcation to the students to have the happiness with the other social commitments thank you sir we'll practice sir we'll practice, practice. yes sir respected dignitaries on the dais and off the dais very good afternoon to one and all present here so uh, my intention is uh, serving to the society is equivalent to the serve the god so in this way uh, by attending this course there are uh, right from the morning session we observed that uh, the each and every uh, there are n number of stalwarts uh, right from uh, survey pali radha krishnan and dr apj abdul kalam insist that the human values the education which is our role on education the human values in this way so that uh, each and every faculty and each and every human being which is used the motto is to service others right thereby as far me is concerned i start my career from 2006 uh, my association with anna university as a student three de- more than t- three decades as a faculty more than two decades i started my career from 2006 so 2006 to 11 i served as nss program officer from 11 to 14 i served as a dep- deputy warden hostel then after that from 11 to 13 i f- nearly 5 years i worked as a uh, student advisor mit you know mit is uh, the total strength of uh, more than 5000 student so i am the uh, heading that as a student advisor i serve the uh, society that is mit and even day before yesterday also mit mita mit alumni association used to contribute this scholarship for the needy people in the quantum of 1.25 crores so i doing my service in various aspect in a way which is definitely this program is helpful to us i take this as a win a way forward to improve the uh, welfare of the students in uh, not only in mit whole anna university thanks for the opportunity so your further commitment was this yes definitely i definitely involve and uh, 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 assure that to contribute a lot whatever the uh, possibilities the way in which to improve the society of the students very nice very nice very nice dr elaya paramal director center of for affiliation respected vice chancellor respected other um, aict team members respected my my, my own colleagues very good evening i start with the, our vice chancellor remarks we have uh, technology has improved a lot 
Medical knowledge has improved a lot. Number of doctors has increased. Number of engineers has increased. Number of invention has increased. But the human happiness index totally reduced. So it is true. Unless otherwise, uh, we have universal human values and ethical practice in our society. It is very difficult to find uh, good uh, knowledge society with the happiness. And now nowadays, even if you see the patients who is going to the hospitals, rather than physical illness, the mental illness is the maximum. The, maximum, the mental illness, psychiatric patient, number of psychiatric patients, it is increasing. So the universal human, this is the first lecture for me, but I never uh, attended this kind of lectures by the AACT, but I have uh, attended many lectures from any spiritual sites. Many of the informations are overlapping and many of them are common. But, so even if you see the campus, and in, our safe, in a single department, all the faculties who come in the 8.30 and leave at the 4.40, not even talk to five minutes each faculty, each other. They come and go separately and they, they come, they go on their own. Even if you see in the quarters also, staff quarters also, nearby, just opposite house, they don't talk to each other, they don't see each other. So that is a situation. But definitely this course is an eye-opener. And this course will definitely change the mindset of the, all the faculties. If any indiv single individual changes their mind, the institution will change. If the institution changes, the university will change. If the university changes, the entire country will change. So thank you for the opportunity. And being a director of a center for affiliation, uh, along with the universal uh, uh, cell, under the guidance of uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor, I'll just help it to spread it to the other affiliated colleges. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. We expect you to be the part of the team, USB team. Uh, maybe, uh, okay. Uh, I'm happy to share that uh, I belong to the department where Professor Anjana Parthas are served. So that way, I mean, I would like to get introduced. Um, I still remember the very first uh, incident uh, when former Vice Chancellor Professor Surapa was here. Uh, so we had a one-day program in our department. So that was my first exposure to this program. After that, um, I mean, I attended a one-week program conducted by Professor Anjani Parthasaradi. And uh, as a faculty advisor, so I had an opportunity to talk to my students and I was able to interact with my students. So still, I am a faculty advisor for those students. So that relationship is taken care of with that. And after that, I wanted to get a certificate in this. So I ensured that I attend a one-week program, online program. And uh, last January I attended, I completed that, but I'm looking for the level two and uh, I will definitely contribute in whatever way I can. Thank you. Very nice. I have one or two speakers who have come from other institutions. Yes. Your good name, please. Uh, I am Professor Durevelu from SRM University. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, we are very thankful to AACT uh, for the efforts, initiatives uh, uh, being taken to inculcate these human values among the students undergoing college education. But uh, in, in, in his address also, our Honorable VC mentioned today that, in Tamil he has mentioned that, Aindil Vilayadeda Aindil Vilayama. Okay, in, uh, in the fifth year it is not bent, then it is very difficult to bend it in the 50th year. That is the meaning of the Tamil proverb. So what I want to say is that this uh, human value should be inculcated among the students undergoing the school education first. In our days, we had the moral science, some subjects, we had some periods to learn these human values, we practice uh, these human values. But nowadays, that component is missing in the school education. Being you are all uh, uh, closely associated with the state or the central governments, uh, why not to uh, take up this issue to the government to uh, uh, give more number of courses on the human values for the school children. And uh, another thing is that uh, in college education, already we find it very difficult to uh, bring in more number of courses, uh, the uh, updated courses in the curriculum. Now we have to replace some of the courses by these human values. But in the school education, it would be very easy, I personally feel. So your view on this, I, I would like to hear, sir. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. Good evening to all. I am Dr. A.T. Ravichandran, Dean Academic of Viltek uh, University, Avadi, Chennai. Actually, this is my first program in that uh, universal human value. Uh, we already implemented that in our institution. Already 120 faculty members have undergone that UHP, uh, the UHP 1 and few members in that UHP 2 values also and offering the courses into the first year students. But after getting that, uh, the inspiration stories from that SRM, and that uh, Ghaziabad professor one, and also the Rana University, we thought of adding more value education programs in the human values as a form of open LTVs. We have the 12 open LTVs where the student can choose it from anywhere, from any school. Why don't we offer initially with that uh, universal human, that is that uh, UHV cell in our institutions? First one we are thinking about. Why it is important is that particularly we are facing a lot of problems nowadays with the students because they have been admitted in the university in the year 2020-21, particularly in that online period. Say they totally do not know that values of the human. Even in their own family, they are not respecting their father or grandfather, anyone. Even when the guests are coming into that, people are going inside the bedroom. Even my son also like that. When the guest comes that we want to introduce him, but he used to be there in the guest bedroom. He said that, no, 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 you go. So somewhere we are missing in that. What our forefathers talked to us, right? But we are missing. That in the earlier days we didn't have this much of technology, but we had a close intra relationship. But with the so much of technology development, the distance between that human is increasing. We need to close it up. So this universal human values type of education, definitely I feel that it will add more values, it will bring up the student, it will help them to understand. The SRM madam talked excellently about that and morning also that uh, Director General talked about that, that experience. So we thought of going for that, being the Dean Academic, I will put it in the, my Academic Council meeting and also in the various Board of Studies meeting, we will see that how we can inculcate or how we can bring into that as part of that curriculum itself. So thank you for that. And I thank my VC for, actually my VC is supposed to come and he only forced me to go. You go, you can learn a lot from that, right? And thanks to the Rana University VC sir for calling my VC exclusively and asking me to, for the reason what I am here is that, sir, thank you very much. Thank you that uh, experts for that excellent lecture. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You share your experience with your vice chancellor. I am Dr. A. Prabhagaran, Associate Professor, Welltech University. I am one of the Universal Human Value Co-coordinator. Sir, already we have started a three-credit course last three years. Uh, SIP already I started. Uh, so this is a very important uh, course for students. Next one is uh, everyone, not only for uh, education, every parents, every human, he can learn in, in that test. If you, if you know this, what is that, what you do, how to do. This is a very important one. What do you know, definitely can answer the how to do. So many people not know this, what to do. Simply the... Uh, earning uh, uh, this this uh, this stage, all are earning only for moving towards this uh, uh, earning money, not the value. So this universal human value is open the high. So how to uh, maintain the value educations? Okay. So uh, for uh, my sir guidance, we have to open in uh, universal human value cells, and uh, uh, in future we can. Uh, uh, implementing university in all students, all staffs also. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, we will close this panel discussion and we'll request uh, Professor uh, Velraj to say a few words as uh, closing remarks. Before that, I would like to... Okay, okay. okay. 
Before uh, that, I would like to acknowledge the contribution of uh, Professor L. Suganthi, who is Dean CG, and with her support, uh, this whole value education has come to this stage. We all talked about Ranjani Parthasarthi ji, but now uh, she is taking care of all these activities, and I am sure that the things will move forward in her leadership. Thank you, Professor Suganthi. Thank you very much. Uh, Professor Charan will say. So again, uh, thanks to each, each and every one. Uh, before uh, Vice Chancellor Sir uh, share his experience, I want to share one experience as a Vice Chancellor. So uh, it was a, we are all talking of uh, understanding a human being. And with the concept that each and every one is equal as a human being. So we understand, learn, and then practice, uh, come to the practice for that purpose. As a, uh, as a part of our living. Uh, it was 2021, uh, Kumbh at Mahakumbh at Haridwar. So uh, there was a, a conference during that time for a clean Kumbh, plastic free Kumbh. Clean Kumbh, plastic free Kumbh. And they have asked all the vice chancellor to attend that uh, workshop so that they'll carry the message further to the student about cleanliness and the uh, plastic free. So I was also uh, invited to go there. So I, was, uh, I, have, I have decided to go <clears throat> to attend that. When I decided, my wife told that you are going to attend and do that too during a kumbh. So I shall also be a part to that. I'll also go. I didn't have to say no. So we too were decided to go by car. A uh, very uh, next moment uh, in, in that data, I thought, when my wife is going uh, to attend a kumb, my driver and his wife may also, wife's driver is going, so his wife may also be thinking to be a part of that kumb in Haridwar. So I asked my wife, uh, let me invite, ask the driver that his wife also accompany and we, both, the, both the families will go there. My wife readily agreed to that and we both went to Haridwar, stayed there, came back. So this was, of course, a tough, difficult decision, but we took and did it. Thank you. Now, I now request our Pandra sir to have his comment and concluding remark for this.